Hello Libra. This is your September 2019 reading. Remember it will not resonate with all Libras, but this is for Libra. Those born on the zodiac sign of Libra, what is dominant in your chart of Libra, okay? Full Celtic Cross, September 2019 for Libra. Those born on the zodiac sign of Libra. Let's see what energies are coming in. I'm asking for new energies for Libra for September. See the beginning energy coming in is, I always look for a positive reading, you know that, but sometimes it don't happen, you know? Sometimes we gotta work through it. The Hermit, you coming out of Hermit mode? Maybe you're wanting to come out of Hermit mode. Maybe you've been keeping your thoughts to yourself. Maybe um, some of you may be even feeling a little lonely and wanting to get out, but it could be all kind of reasons and we will get to that. Subject at hand, got the nine of wands. It is in reverse. This is somebody who is um, not, yeah, I'm thinking some of you just don't want to work on something anymore. You're feeling a little like you don't want to carry any burdens. You don't want to go towards any burdens. You're not going to think about working on something. Or maybe you're having trouble, you know, taking your mind off work. Ace of Pentacles, that's crossing it. Maybe you should be going into something new and you don't feel like it. Maybe you want to do something different. Maybe you feel like your job has got you secluded. Maybe you feel like your life is secluded and you're wanting new offers to come in. But um, at the same time, um, you don't want to stress over it either. Let's see that. That is the Seven of Cups in reverse, what crowns you. Sometimes I got to turn these back around because they're kind of cluttered, some of the details on some of the cards, you know. But this is a Seven of Cups in Reverse. And I like the Seven of Cups in Reverse. It's like you're going to really um, make sure any offer or options that you have are good for you. And not something that just fly by night. Foundation. The Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries, but I don't think so. This is someone taking control um, in some ways over their life. They're wanting to tell people exactly what they want in a, in a good way, but it's basically taking control. Or you may be, uh, like I said, dealing with somebody that's like controlling, but not in a bad way. Could be a boss, could be your parent, could be a judge, <laughs> but we shall see. I do clarify these and once I start clarifying, you know, it can change up the story. So just bear with me. In the past, you had the Knight of Cups energy coming towards you, or, you know, it will be coming towards you, even though I'm saying the past now, because we're not in September yet, so some of you may not experience this yet. It's the Knight of Cups in the upright, someone willing to make you an offer, give you an offer, a loving offer. I like the Knights. He's coming towards you with a really, uh, in a way, a good message for you. But it's like, you're saying... I don't want to accept this offer. I don't want to accept anything that is not the way I want, the way I need. And that's why the emperor's there maybe also, because you're telling people straight up what you're wanting. Near future, King of Rods. You may be dealing with the King of Rods energy. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with just a you know fiery personality. In reverse, they could be a little bit older. Um, but when I see them in reverse, they come across very abrupt and they're short tempered and, um, you may find them a little bit rude, you know, and it could be, has something to do with that seven of cups where you're saying, I'm not taking this. I don't like what you're saying to me. I don't like your attitude type situation. That's what you're feeling. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe. You may cut something out or you may state your truth with the ace of swords. Um, something, um, maybe you haven't done before that you may do now, you know, because it's a beginning type energy. What is coming towards you or the outside environment is the King of Swords. This could be, um, well, it could be another Libra. It could be you in a way, because out, but it's the outside environment. It's the stuff that's not in your control, so I don't think so. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and it's in reverse. It's someone with very sharp words, again. Someone maybe a little older, someone that's, you know, um, over you in some way. But I see a lot of sharp words here. And you may not be liking what they're doing. You may be uh, even taking it <clears throat> to a higher level to somebody else about a situation. 
to get it to stop, to get whatever they're saying to you to stop. Hopes and fears, the Ace of Cups, you're afraid you won't get the, a new beginning. You're afraid you won't get the things you love. With the Ace of Cups in reverse, you're afraid that a new start won't begin in something that you truly want. In the end, we have the Knight of Swords. I do believe that is your energy. Knight of Swords is going to uh, um, turn up uh, the energy really quick in their own lives and get started on something that's pretty powerful something very quickly and go getting so you're going to be doing something um very quickly you're, you may eat, actually cut something out and go into something new with the ace of swords i say that because remember this possible future outcome put these two together yeah swords energy just does not play and that i'm pretty sure is you okay so let's go back to the beginning and we can see if we can change the story up or get more information like i said it become it can become more interesting i'm seeing um libras just pretty much getting into it or fed up with something but let's say the subject at hand you're no longer willing to work on something or consider it possibly with the ace of pentacles that's crossing it or that you're looking for something else with the ace of pentacles you know, maybe that's why you're not working on something. But the nine of uh, wands with the ace of pentacles crossing it, why are you there? I'm thinking you're going into something else. Pretty sure you are. Yeah, you're going to stop something. You're not going to work on something anymore with the three of pentacles in reverse. And it may be that you're thinking of, like I said, taking on something else for finances and jobs and stability in general. So the nine of wands in reverse, ace of pentacles crossing it, three of pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? As a subject at hand for Libra in September. So I think Libra, I think you may be going into something else. You're going to be um, possibly traveling with the eight of wands. Talking to somebody, probably has to do with that ace of pentacles, about maybe actually moving to a new position like with a job, a home, or just maybe even whatever you're going to do may involve traveling, you know, this new situation. I have, I have a feeling it has a lot to do with your finances. Actually, I know it does. Now, your goal with crowns you, you're just tired of taking, having options in your life and taking options in your life that are just, you know, that just suck. You know, and you're wanting just what you're wanting. You're wanting um, better things to come in. You're wanting um, maybe even do a new start, like I said. But the Seven of Cups in reverse, why are you there? For Libra, as what crowns them or their goal. Yeah, I don't think you're going to. Yeah, you're putting a halt to something and going on to something else. With that chariot in reverse, <clears throat> you're going to put a halt to the um, BS that you've been getting in your life. So the Seven of Cups, the Chariot, both in reverse for Libra. Why are you there in September? So some of you may be already, yeah, you're going into something else. You're wheeling and dealing with somebody else with the Six of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> the reason why you also may be putting a halt to the other stuff is because there was no give and take. And now you want some give and take in your life. You're wanting, some, you're wanting life to be a little bit fair. Um, you believe in, you know, you scratch, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine type situation. You feel like you're not getting it. So that's what you're going for. And you're putting a halt to something else. I mean, you may be taking on the, um, energy of the emperor, but I don't know. Let me find out. <clears throat> the emperor as a foundation for Libra. Why are you there in September as a foundation? Why could be taking a stand. Yeah, you're wanting something else to come in. You're you're taking a stand and you're saying, I want something else to come in. I'm looking forward to other things and I'm not getting it where I'm at. So the Emperor in the upright, three of wands in the upright. Why are you there? For Libra. You're taking a stand. Yeah. Yeah, you're taking a stand. You got the death in reverse. You're not going to let anything interrupt it either. Nothing from the past. You got to cut something out. And I have a feeling people may try to talk you into staying in your situation, but I think you got your mind made up, Libra. You know, if I'm calling this right, let me know. But I do believe you are going into something else because of other people's attitudes or you feel this way. You feel like it's not helping you. You don't like what they're offering. But in the past, you got the Knight of Cups. I'm thinking someone's offering you something else. 
even though it's in September. Remember, we may not have happened yet, even the past position. But I'm thinking you're going to get another offer, and you're going to say to the other situation you were in, take this and, you know, and shove it for real. So the Knight of Cups in the upright, while you're there in the past, for Libra. I like the Knight of Cups. King of Wands, wow, great energy. I'm thinking someone's offering you something else. <clears throat> for the Knight of Cups, it could be um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. doesn't have to be, though. They're just really positive energies that may turn your head to going into something else. So Knight of Cups, King of Wands, both in the upright, in the past position while you're there for Libra in September. King of Pentacles. Yeah, they may offer you something else. <clears throat> People are going to offer you something else. And I'm, I'm thinking someone may try to um, talk you into staying where you're at also. I do see messages coming in. But with the King of Pentacles, it can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It doesn't have to be in reversals especially. It could be someone not feeling um, real stable right now or secure in more th where they're at. So that could be you not feeling real stable and secure and looking at these offers given to you. I really do feel that. In the near future, you may tell somebody, guess what? I may be looking into something else or maybe... This is what's going to happen that sets it all off. So the king of rods in reverse. And I told you what they were about. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius possibly or a fire type energy. So the king of rods in reverse. Why are you there in the near future for Libra? Why are you there? Wheel of Fortune. Oh, wow. They're going to feel like, oh, they're going to tell you something. You messed me over. They're going to, they're going to yell at you a little. And they're going to say that... Um, I'm going to lose out and things of that nature with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And you're going to feel like this person's just really giving you some bad luck also or going to cost you something. So the King of Rods, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why are you there for Libra in the very near future? Yeah, and you're going to feel a little trapped by it. They're going to, someone's going to maybe even make you feel a little guilty about it were you possibly going into something so this for Libras are thinking about going into something new and it has a lot to do with finances it could be relationships but i see it more as um, physically moving whether jobs location or both but you're feeling a little trapped and bound and they may make you feel trapped and you're thinking how am i gonna get out of this you know because they may say uh they may like try to cost you in some way with the finances you know they may hold back some money or something and you're thinking now how am I going to go about this and it could be that you feel that you don't have enough money either but with the eight of swords you do have a way out there's always a way out because it's all mental energy it's not a physical entrapment <clears throat> now the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is this ace of swords you could be cutting something out and going forward to something out going forward to something else, I wish I could talk, and seeking your truth and what you want to do in life. So Ace of Swords in the upright, why are you there? For Libra. Yeah, you're going to make cut, cut something out or say your truth. It has something to do with somebody having trouble letting you go to move on from troubled water. Someone's going to have trouble letting you go or you may, for a very few of you, you may have trouble letting go, but it looks like you're going to. Ace of Swords in the upright. Six of Swords in reverse while you're there for Libra. The moon. Because something comes out. Something comes out. You're going to stay. I think a lot of you are just going to tell people what you think also with the moon in reverse. Like something you kind of kept to yourself. And bef before maybe you kept to yourself. And now you're coming out of that mode like... um hermit mode and going in and stating your truth and may surprise a few people and they may even say you know you're just taking it too drastically but I don't think so I don't think you're going to be I think you're you're in the right in this I'm almost sure of it now in the outside environment or what is coming towards you the king of swords I told you this could be Aquarius Gemini or Libra but it doesn't have to be it could be someone with just really sharp words and they may be you know almost threatening so um king of swords in reverse while you're there for libra is what is coming towards them or the outside environment you're doing the right thing i
pretty sure. Yeah, they're going to talk to your break in a contract. You promise with the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in the upright to me is like um, the status quo. What is considered... Um, normal in society and acceptable. It can have to also to do with marriages and contracts and things of that nature. And so when in reverse, I'm seeing this person, it does have to be, it, it could be male or female. We don't put, you know, we don't, we don't call male or female in a general reading for the public. Just like we don't, I don't just add a sign, just one sign, because we're dealing with a lot of people here and I deal with energies. So, <clears throat> this King of Swords is going to say, how dare you go back in your word, break a contract or whatever. And they may say something to you or come towards you with it. It may even threaten even a court action or to see you or something. They might. They might for a few of you, but not all of you. They're just mostly threats, okay? So, King of Swords, the Hierophant, both in reverse is the outside environment. And then someone treated you kind of unfair, too. Yeah, they're saying, how, you, you can't leave. You can't do into something new. You can't go into something new with the full card in reverse. You can't go. Whatever you want to do, they're going to say, Libra, you can't go. And you, in your hopes and fears, are thinking the Ace of Cups in reverse. Like, I may not be able to start this new beginning, but you do. Okay? I'm just letting you know you are. So Ace of Cups in reverse while you're there for Libra. And the hopes and fears of manifestations. Why are you there? You have Page of Pentacles. You're not going to like that. You're afraid of like, you're afraid of messages that have to do with your finances and that something won't come through. And you're afraid. These are all fears. So get rid of them out of your head. You're afraid that you won't be able to, like I said, start something you love. <clears throat> so Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, both in reverse, and the hopes and fears of manifestation. To manifest something, you got to turn this around. Why are you there? Yeah, you're you don't you're afraid something's going to come to a complete halt with the King, with the Knight of Pentacles. Again, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but you know I'm just throwing that out there. Now, final outcome, Knight of Swords. You're in the upright. You're attached to this Ace of Swords. And you're going to cut something out. Someone's going to say something rude to you. They're just going to push you over the edge. And you're just going to say bye. You're going to say goodbye to them. So Knight of Swords in the upright. Or at least you're going to threaten to. Knight of Swords. Why are you there? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm starting to lose my voice. Knight of Swords. Why are you there? It's a final outcome for Libra. You're going to cut something out. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you're walking away. You're walking away from something with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away, Libra, from something. Or you're threatening to. You really are. Knight of, um, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups is the final outcome. Why are you there for Libra? A little bit of a war thing. Yeah, you're not going to hold back either with the Four of Pentacles. You, are, you, got different, you have your hopes on elsewhere. And I do see you starting something different. But people are going to give you a lot of flack over it. Whatever you're doing, they're going to give you a lot of flack and you're going to hold your own. Now, some of you may threaten to leave and maybe not, but I think a lot of you are going to leave and cut something out and go into something new. Remember, you are able to manifest. This is mostly um, the starting of, of you taking up for yourself in something. And I do believe a lot of you has to do with work. You feel trapped. You feel like it's a misfortune, whatever it is. And someone's going to sit there and they may threaten you. They may threaten you. You're going to break this contract. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. But it looks like you're going to tell them your truth because maybe you even find out something with the moon in reverse. You may very well out find out something with the moon in reverse and say, I cannot believe this. And, and you're going to be, but they're going to make threats. and You're going to be afraid for a second there. Um, if you leave, you know, it's going to be really hard on you. But I do see you doing it, a lot of you doing it. I do see you cutting things out and possibly moving. And I also see messages going back and forth. You may get the messages that from the Knight of Cups and the Wands energy. So you, because your instability is off right here. So keep hope. The star card is always hope. Star card is always hope. 
and you have the magician in the upright, you're able to manifest something with the magician in the upright. You have the tools and the knowledge to do what you need to do. And the two of pentacles um, in reverse, you will drop something. You are definitely going to drop this, okay, Libra, and go into something you know, okay? Bye.